Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So if you're new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and everything else. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos. We also have a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0 where we post weekly vlogs. So you guys can head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we're putting out. We also have a podcast called Diving In With Fanny. You can find us on iTunes, Podbean, um, Spotify and this channel as well. You guys just feel free to enjoy the conversations that there. Give us feedback if there's anything that you want us to talk about and we'll actually talk about it for you guys we also have a patreon where you guys can feel free to become members um yeah a big shout out to the person that suggested this we appreciate very much thank you for always giving us stuff to react to and a big shout out to our subscribers you guys are the best thank you for suggesting this thank you for always subscribing thank you for watching just thank you for being around this whole time around so today as you can tell from the title i'll be reacting to emotional sister questions on purpose of life and ends up accepting islam dr zaki naik i always love these uh, q and a sessions so i'm excited to see what this is about so without wasting time let's get into the video are you non-muslim sister Onna, uh, Onna. there are sisters having two same questions two sisters having the same questions okay no problem no problem Okay. This is Shihoya Yamamoto. Ah. My name is Ayaka Fujiwara. Uh, I work for a company. Uh, I have a question about... <laughs> I have been wondering why... What's the purpose of God, God's, God's creation of human being? What's, what does he need for us? And I watched YouTube, your, um, your lecture. And you said, you answered that we all chose to be human. But before that, why God created human as an option for us? Got it. Got it. Very good question. The sister said that what is the purpose of our creation in this world? And why did God create human being? Human being is one of the best creations of God. All the other creation. For example, angel. Angels always obey God. Whatever he says they obey, they have no option but to obey 100%. We human beings, Almighty God gave a free will. You can either obey or you can disobey. So we are a different creation. Yes. That means all, all the other creation obey God 100%. We human beings have an option of obeying or disobeying. Now, angels pass. Mountain is Muslim pass. Human beings have two options. If we obey after free will, we become superior than the angel. Okay. After free will, if you obey, you become superior than the angel. After free will, if you disobey, then you become like the Satan. So Almighty God asked, who wants to become a human being? The Quran says, we were fool. The teacher says, no examination, I'll just give you pass. 40 out of 100. Those who appear for examination can get 95, can get 60, can get 10. Correct? Those who don't appear for examination just pass 40%. We were fools, the Quran says. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get high marks. Okay, I am appearing. If you know your subject well, what will you say to the teacher? No, no. No 40. I want 90. Mm -hmm. So we were fools that we opted for the choice. Allah says in Surah Araf chapter 7 verse 172 that Allah got the lawyer from Adam alayhi salam peace be upon him got all the children asked who is God? We agree there is one God. Then the memory was washed. Even teacher teaches you, you have the textbook. But during the examination the textbook is taken, correct? Yes. You can't have the textbook and sit with the examination. Then where is the test? Mm -hmm. So we agreed. The mountains were afraid. We human beings now, what is the purpose? The reply is given in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 56, chapter 51, verse 56. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ That it is Almighty God who created the men and the jinn, not but to worship Him. So our main purpose in life is worshipping God. Worshipping God means obeying. 
Worship doesn't mean only prayer. Prayer is one type of worship. But if you obey the commandment of God, you are doing worship. Almighty God says, don't kill other innocent human beings. You don't kill. You are doing worship. Almighty God says, love your wife. If you love your wife, then you are doing ibadah, you are doing worship. Mm. Almighty God says, you have to respect your parents. If you respect your parents, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Almighty God. So that is the reason, if we have a common code, as the sister asked earlier, if we have a common rule, all will be peaceful. All will love the parents, all will love the wife, no one will. So then that is the only way peace can be in the world. Somebody else says, why to spend money on your parents? They have become old, put them in old age home. This is not commandment of creator. This is commandment of Shaitan, Satan. Oh, why you want to help your neighbor? Quran says, Surah Maud, help your neighbor. If you don't help, help your neighbor, you're not a Muslim. The Prophet said, he is not a Muslim. He is not a Muslim. He is not a believer. Unless the neighbor is safe from him. Means if the neighbor is afraid of me, I am not a Muslim. The neighbor can be a non-Muslim. The Prophet said, if you sleep with your tummy full and your neighbor sleeps, sleeps hungry, you are not a Muslim. If I have my proper dinner, I sleep, and my neighbor doesn't have dinner, he may be a non-Muslim. I'm not a good Muslim. Yes, I understand. But before that, why human is the option for us? Human or angels? I we chose. I gi no, I gave you an example. Teacher is saying to the full class, if you don't appear for examination, 40 out of 100. If you appear, you can get 90 out of 100, 95 out of 100, 50 can get 10 also. Do you understand? Teacher is giving an option. If you don't appear for examination, 40 marks, just pass. You know, 40 is the minimum for passing. Mm. So if you don't appear for examination, just pass. If you appear, you can get 90, can get 95, can get 70, can get 40, can get 30, can get 10, can get 0. Mm -hmm. So we human beings opted. That's what the Quran says. We were fools. Do you understand? Yeah, that's right. Do you understand? I understand, I understand. But our memory is washed away. Yes. On the day of judgment, again the memory will come back. Hmm. So we, this life, sister, is a test for the hereafter. As I told earlier, Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalakal mauta or hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. In this test, what's happening? God is giving you children. Your children are test for you. God is giving you wealth. Do you give charity? If you don't give charity, means you're not a good human being. Yes, yes. So all these are test sisters. The wealth, your parents, your wives, your children. So if you follow the commandments of God, you pass and you get 90, 95. I understand. Maybe you'll get 60. Yeah. But if you get below 40, then your choice was wrong. Mm -hmm. Then you go to hell. Do you understand? But, yeah, I understand. But why the test exists? Why God made the test? Yeah. He, he gave a free will. will. <laughs> he gave a free will, sister. That's the test. Free will. Mm. You are. Why God prepared the test? Ah. As I choose. Why he prepared? Mm. Fine. Why did the teacher prepare the test for the students? <laughs> to give them certificate, pass or fail, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you go to college? Yes. Yes, when you go to college, teacher gives test. Why? Yes. So if you do good, they will give you excellent. Distinction, first class, second class, correct? Yes. So, so you have to ask the teacher, why, why are you giving me test teacher? Because only by test can she tell you whether you have got 80 marks, 90 marks, 70 marks, 50 marks. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So this is the test sister we are undergoing. And in the test, what you try to do? You try and follow the rules and regulation of the textbook, correct? Right. When you are appearing for a mathematics test or a science test, yeah. you read the science textbook. And what is mentioned the boy's law, this law is there, Newton's law. You study and you implement. Same way, the textbook for living our life is only one textbook. Small, no? See, nursery, first standard to 12th standard, so many books. There's only one book. Yes. One book and another few hadith. About 12,000 hadith. This and that put together, khalal, full life textbook. So if you read this and you implement this, Inshallah, you will pass. Maybe 80, maybe 90, maybe 95. Correct, sister? 
But why, what does God benefit from the test? Ah, very good, very good question, new question. <laughs> what does God benefit? Very good question. For example, I say Allah Akbar, Allah is great. What does God benefit? By me saying Allah Akbar, Allah, is, Allah cannot become greater, is already the greatest. He cannot become greater, whether I praise him or not. Why? What does Allah, I'll tell you. Quran says in Surah Anam, Quran says Surah Anfal, that it is Allah who is free of all bonds. It is we human beings who benefit. For example, for example. Now, suppose your mother has a heart attack. And one person you know, he is a famous doctor, very famous. He gives advice. And another common man on the street gives you advice. Which advice will you follow for your mother? The heart specialist or a common man? If your mother has a heart attack. お母さんが、あの、なんですか、え、心臓病になってしまって、え、どう受け止まって、あの、心臓が患ったと、その時に心臓外科医の専門家に頼るか、それとも一般の人に頼るかどちらですか。The now when someone greatest request you, you will follow. So when we say Allah who Akbar, we are not, it is not Allah who is benefiting, we are benefiting. It is psychology. When I say Allah who Akbar, Allah is the greatest. Oh now Allah is the offer prayer, so I offer prayer. You know, Allah is the most wise. Now Allah says give charity, I am giving charity. So when I am praising Allah, it is not benefiting Allah, it is benefiting me. And Allah is happy that it is benefiting you because we are his creation. To Allah, it makes no difference. If all the human beings in the world even abuse Allah, knows Billah, it will make no difference to him. Even all of them praise, personally no difference. But, ah, because you are praising me, now you will follow my advice. Once you follow the advice, you will pass. Now a teacher is happy when the student passes or not? Is the teacher happy when the student passes or not? Yeah. The bad teacher will not be happy, good teacher will be happy. <laughs> the same <laughs> Almighty God is happy that you are praising Him, it will not benefit Him, it will benefit you that you will follow this commandment. So God has no benefit. Personal benefit, no. Personal benefit, it will not make Him greater. It will not make Him wiser. If I say that Allah is al king most wise, He cannot become wiser. What will happen, you will benefit. When you benefit, He is happy. Do you understand? Yes. Because you are benefiting, oh, my student, my creation, my man, okay, benefiting, happy. Personally, no benefit. Do you understand? Yes. So now do you believe there is one God? <laughs> do you believe there is one God? Yes. Do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes. Believe. So would you like to become a Muslim? Would you like to say the Shahada in Arabic? I feel like I still have a lot to learn. Before Fine, see, when you, even I have a lot to learn. Even I. Even I have a lot to learn. I am giving so many lectures, traveling throughout the world. I have got a lot to learn for Islam. The learning process is always there. Learning, see, when you go to school, in first standard you take admission. First take admission, then you go second standard, then third, then fifth. You always learn. Even I am learning. Even I am learning. But what if you are convinced on the two basic things which I told earlier, that there is one God and Prophet Muhammad, if you are convinced with these two things, the other thing is later on. For example, when you take admission, you have to follow the rules. Once you follow the basic rules, the others will come slowly, sister. Because if you believe in these two things, your major thing out of four, Iman. You know, I said earlier, you have to have Iman, belief, you have to have righteous deed. All that can come later. Number one is believe there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Slowly, slowly you start offering salah, you start giving charity. But if you don't believe in Allah, if you pray, it will look like gymnastics. <laughs> you know, and I want you sister, what will it benefit me so that we can meet in Jannah? What benefit will it have for me that if you take shahada? The benefit for me that Allah will reward me. 
and Allah will reward you also. You ask me that what benefit Dr. Zakir will you have if I take Shada? The benefit for me is Almighty God has told me one of the criteria to go to Jannah is call people to the truth. So when I call you to the truth, so my ticket to Jannah is better. Maybe I'll get a higher degree in Jannah. You understand? You understand? Because one of the criteria for Jannah is Vatavasa Bil Haq, inviting people to truth. So more people I call to truth, I get more peace of mind and my status in Jannah, you know, maybe from 70 to 80, maybe 80 to 85, 85 to 90. So would you like to raise the Shadah? Tengo Krim and Joke and Hitosua Shin Yota and Susana Kotana de. その今私が心理を人は必要 Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. I bear witness. I bear witness. That. That. There is no God. There is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad. Is the messenger. Is the messenger. And servant. And so, of Allah. Of Allah. Masha sister, you're a Muslim and Allah. That's deen. Allah is the deen. The deen. These are tears of joy. And when anyone takes a shahada, I get little bit of little bit of judgment that how well the person will practice, how dedicated is he. We try and take shahada as many as we can. But Allah gives a little bit of idea. Okay, this sister is more committed. This sister less committed may become more later on. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sister that inshallah Allah gives you more hidayah and grants you jannah and may you help other Japanese, other family members to come to Islam sister. And I request the, I request the Muslim sister that see to it that if she has any need, if she has any requirement, you fulfill the requirement inshallah. Thank you. Very amazing video. I was thinking throughout this time. This was very, very amazing. Uh, congratulations to her. And if you guys have been following her, how is she doing so far um, with the new found piece? Uh, I was wondering, do you guys ever wonder what or how it would have been if we could remember the choice Dr. Zaki Naik said? choosing between maybe to be an angel or to be a human being if there's any video that talks about such things let us know and what's the purpose of making us or what's the purpose of us forgetting that we chose this life over another otherwise this was very very interesting to listen to i always enjoy questions where i see questions being asked or some people converting it's always a joyous moment for them and for as viewers as well let me know what you think about this video if there's anything that you want us to react to let us know in the comment section below and we'll actually do it for you make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video